time guys I thought I'd do a favourites video today because I felt like it and I have loads of favourites I think maybe not I hope you like the new setup we have shoes there and then the fridge defo good I think we're okay hello everyone today I thought I'd just do a current favourites video because I don't do monthly favourites anymore and Current favourites are something that I think I've only done once. Probably once or twice. I can't really remember <laughs> the last time I did one, so yeah. But I know I've done one before. I like watching these when I'm getting ready. And I thought you guys might like to watch one of me again. <laughs> yeah, so I am a little bit hunched because that's just how I sit, guys. Literally, I hate sitting like this, like... Honestly, <laughs> but anyway, I sat on my bed today because it's kind of like a sofa bed, kind of. Like, I dress it up to look like a sofa bed. Let's talk about the face because if you can see that highlight popping, the base of my highlight that I've been using is the MUA Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter in the shade Radiant Cashmere. It's a beautiful colour. And because I'm fake tanned at the moment, it shows up really nicely on the skin. And it's so beautiful. And then I just top it up with the Makeup Revolution in the shade, what is it? Golden Lights, which is beautiful as well. But this just sets the base for it. Because it kind of like goes in nicely with the skin tone. And then you put on something that gives it a bit of more of a pop. But this just glides on effortlessly. And it just, oh, it's just so beautiful if you haven't swatched this yet go and swatch it because i'm telling you it's so good and it's only three pounds it doesn't feel like butter it kind of feels a bit rough when you swatch it but literally it just glides on so nice and doesn't rub off when you apply it on your skin so it doesn't leave any patchy bits and literally I've only just sat down to film this. I didn't even check if my hair was looking okay or anything, but I hope it is. Um, I literally just got back from college like 20 minutes ago and just started setting up this. I hope I look okay, but it's been a weird day at college, so yeah. Oh, skincare. This, I haven't been using this for a couple of months now and it's the La Roche-Posay Efflecar, uh, Efflecar K Plus. Back in the day, I used to absolutely love this, but then I thought that my skin just got a bit too used to it and it didn't work as well as it used to. Um, so I left it for a while and now I'm back on it. And it's reduced the scarring on my face so much, like touch woods, <laughs> uh, that it, yeah, but it's so good. Literally, I put it on my scars night and day, but recently, um, for this week, I've just been doing it in the morning, once a day, because um, I'm trying to wean my skin off of it again, um, so it can be more effective the next time I really need it on my skin, because my skin has been clearing up. It's so annoying, because every time I'm on my period, I get these aggravating spots, but then they'll clear up, and then suddenly I'm on my period again, and the cycle just keeps on continuing and I keep on getting breakouts because of the period basically. Touch wood again that I get it from anything else. Yeah, but that's just been helping to clear it up and it doesn't feel harsh in the skin. It doesn't feel like it's gonna like, it doesn't feel, what's the word? Astringent? I think that's the word where it feels like it's stinging your skin. It doesn't feel like that. It just feels like a serum that you've put on your skin. Like, I target the areas. For my foundation, I've been, well, I'm kind of on, a fe on the fence about this one, but I'll talk about the one that I love. And this, I've been using for like two years now. No, I've been using it for a year. So last summer, I used this, and I used the shade 220, which I have on today mixed with this one, because my fake tan is slowly coming off now. Um, but this is the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 128. I absolutely love this colour. It's so good for my spring shade um, because it 
Bicada <laughs> because it is a yellow toned foundation and I think Maybelline do yellow tones really really well and this is like one of their newer shades that they've come out with which is really really good um it was like 5 99 which is such an affordable drugstore foundation and the finish is just so nice I highly recommend if you're looking for a new foundation whether you've got dry skin or oily skin because I have combination and it just glides over my dry patches really good it doesn't melt off my skin either so yeah recommend this so this is the Dior Star um I'm on the fence about this foundation because it doesn't match me too well but when I film with this foundation it looks so nice and flawless on my skin it is made for that like studio makeup like type thing where it makes your skin look a bit more um airbrushed and glowy but in real life i don't think it looks too good because i don't think it really matches my skin well it's more of a neutral color on me rather than a yellow but watching it in store and stuff it did turn out a little bit more yellow than all of the other shades by far this is in the shade 021 but i wouldn't necessarily buy this again it just looks nice when i'm filming with it on but also contributing to like covering up my scars and redness and stuff and also under my eyes i've been getting like discoloration like purpley eye bags under my skin i didn't really under my skin under my eyes i didn't really describe that really well i've been using the mua pro base prime and conceal in the shade peach and it's basically just a peachy corrector for under your eyes i've been finding that it does really like brighten it under there and although correctors are like kind of made so you don't have to use as much much concealer than you normally do i still do because yeah so when i don't wear this it looks like i've got these like purple lines under my eyes but when i do wear this it just corrects it and it basically you can't even tell that i've got eye bags hopefully anyway um but then i have been getting quite red on my face so i've been using this i said in my haul video that i don't I didn't really like it i think that's what i said i filmed it ages ago so i can't really remember but i said that it wasn't really pigmented i think uh but i've been using a brush with it but you kind of have to use quite a bit it's either my face is quite big and i've got so many red patches or you have to use quite a bit but I've used that much and it's been a month or so um so yeah I really like it now like I put it on my skin first um after moisturizer and sun cream and then I let it sit there like I would when I'm using my Laura Mercier secret camouflage foundation I let it sit there for about five minutes and then I'll go on top with my foundation I just find it just works a lot more effectively um and it doesn't rub away the essence mosaic compact powder in the shade sunkissed beauty 01 and basically it has like loads of these um different tones of nudey beigey bronzy shades in there and you swirl it all together it kind of reminds me of the guerlain bronzer um but anyway you swirl your brush in it and then you just get a really nice color i've got loads of bronzer and blush on today so <laughs> yeah so i start off with this one after i've contoured my cheeks which you would have seen in one of my makeup videos or you will be seeing and then i put on top um to give it a bit more of like color i put on top the dior nude air tan powder in the shade 035 it's quite a um reddish tone bronzer it's kind of like a cinnamon shade i want to try other bronzers by dior as well because i feel like um they stay on my skin longer uh yeah and then for my hair as you can see um i am a brighter blonde than i was last year and my roots have come back again um so Three weeks ago, I had barely no roots showing. Um, now it's just grown back in as well. And basically my hair has been in the worst condition this year by far. It just feels like noodles and it's been fried so many times because of bleach. Um, I know that I should stop, but I just love having light hair. Uh, one day I was in TK Maxx and they had Olaplex in store and I've heard so much about this product that I wanted to give it a go myself, but just I'm always hesitant to buy it online because 
you can get fake stuff and you know um anyway this was 24.99 and it's the number three um again with this product i'm on the fence with it because i don't know if it's working or not because my hair used to be so porous before using this but now it doesn't like soak up so much water and it doesn't take as long to dry but it's left my hair feeling quite dry and almost crispy although i use hair masks and everything i just feel like my hair feels more less moisturized if that kind of makes sense it feels stronger but it feels dry i know it's not conditioning treatment but it just feels a lot drier than it used to be. But I'm like halfway through it. I've used it about four times. I don't know if it's worth it, but I'm gonna keep on trying with it and see if I wanna continue to purchase it. But yeah, I'm kind of on the fence. I don't know where it's going with my hair. But you know that feeling where you have to keep on using something or you feel like if you don't use that thing your hair is going to go wrong or something's going to go wrong with your body or something like that do you get what i mean like when you haven't if you take something out of your routine you just feel like everything's just going to go wrong it is pricey though 100 mils for 24.99 like whoa anyway so i've been into fake tanning again as you can see i am fake tanned i just feel like i just look so much more healthy when i've got fake tan on it just makes my clothes look nice when i wear have fake tan but anyway um i've got two here i'm wearing this one at the moment and it's the rimmel london sun shimmer self tan mousse I like this because it's easier to use than this one, although this one should be easier to use, but I'll talk about this one a bit later. This does have that typical smell, but at first it just smells like, like clean almost. Um, but it gives you such a nice colour, like it's not orange, and when you wash it off you see a green residue. The same with this one, but this one's like 4 99 or something. It says it lasts up to 7 days, I mean... What day am I on today? So I fake tanned on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. This is the fifth day and I've still got colour on me. Um, I wouldn't say that it's like rubbed off completely or anything, but you, when I wear my watch, it does come off. Um, where, I, oh, it's not that bad today. Well, this week. Uh, but normally, my where I sweat with my watch, but it hasn't been too hot in the UK, so... Um, yeah, so normally when I sweat there, it just comes off and it leaves like the line where it looks like I've been in the sun for too long and I've tanned and it's left the watch mark. But anyway, yeah, I really like this colour that it gives and it's really cheap and cheerful. It's in the shade Dark Matte. Um, it says shimmer, but it doesn't have any shimmer in it, which is really good. This one, I really, really love the colour. Like, I enjoy it. It gives me like a really nice olivey tan. But you have to wash yourself a couple of times before you can head out of the house only because right so it's one of those advanced express ones so it's a saint tropez um self tan express so you can like one hour for light two hours for medium three hours for dark so i leave it on for three hours because i like a dark tan thing is it keeps developing after you wash it off after the three hours two hours one hour so the smell gets worse. So what with, with this one, it's developed overnight and stuff like that. So when you wash it off in the morning, you don't still smell like tan. This one, I feel like you still smell like tan, like to me anyway. I went to work once with this still developing after washing it off. And I felt like I smelled horrible, like I smelled like BO and stuff like that. I don't think anyone noticed, but I smelled the fake tan smell and it was just horrible to me um, so it's kind of a faff now when I use it because I've learnt from that experience I have to wash myself twice after using this well actually should I go just tell you how I do it so the day that I fake tan I'll do it a couple of hours earlier before my evening bath and then I wash it off in the evening and then when I go to sleep I kind of treat it like a normal fake tan um, and then I give it eight hours or so and then I wake up and then in the morning I'll have a morning shower bath to rinse it off again to get off that smell 
and then you're good to go. That's my only bad reason, bad reason, bad thing about this tan. I should just probably just buy the um, Saint Tropez dark tanning mousse rather than buying this one. Uh, but I thought this one was a genius idea, but I had no clue what I was gonna head in for. So yeah, it is like three, four times the price of this one. Um, so bear in mind of that. Um, but if I had to pick out of the two, I'd probably go out for this one rather than this one, just because of the smell. Um, oh, another favorite. This is my cup of tea. Um, it's not the cup, it's the tea. I really have been getting into Earl Grey tea. Um, I think I first had it at my friend's house um, because her mum drinks it. Um, and ever since then, I've just been really liking it. And I got a box from Tesco like a couple of months ago, like in March. And then when we would go out to like prep a manger or something like that, I'd get it. And it's just so, I want to say soothing because it has this like smoky, like spicy, like scent and aroma to it. And it's just beautiful. And it just, oh, like, I don't know. It's just a comforting cup of tea. Like I put in the almond milk and um, no sugar or anything like that because I'm about this simple life. And it's just so, like on the day like today, it's just even more rewarding to drink it because it's like cloudy and it's cold. Well, not too cold, it's humid. I fucking hate humid weather. But anyway, and also I've been really getting into Instagramming. Uh, so this is my feed so far. I used to like post once a week or something like that, but now I post like, three to four times a week. Um, I don't know, I've just been really loving like editing the photos and putting them up. Anyway, if you wanna follow me, I am at caroline.lack, yeah, caroline.lack, L-A-C. Uh, yeah, should be able to find me anyway. I am not on private. Anyway, that is all I've been loving. Um, I hope you guys liked the video and that you may have found some new favourites from this video. Like, you may find some products that you may enjoy too. There is a perfume that I didn't mention, but it's the Zara White, no, Zara Femme Perfume. I got that for my birthday from my friend, but it literally smells so gorgeous. So yeah, go and have a whiff of that if you like florally creamy scents. That's how I describe it, but yeah. Oh yeah, and hoops. I've been really loving hoops because I think they suit this hair and my style. So yes, they're just like, you can get a pack of five from Primark and um, after testing them out, I think like they suit me. And that fake jewelry is absolutely fine for me now because I think I put them in the wrong hole. Like I got them re-pierced so I put them in my old one so I literally pierced through what had healed up so that's what really went wrong for me so now my ears don't hurt anymore so it's fine I hope you liked the video come and join me next time we'll have a little bit of a chat I think I'm gonna film a um how I passed my driving test in theory um next because yeah I'm gonna be doing my exams soon I think I'm going to be putting this up this week. If not, I don't even know when, but <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm trying to get, like, get ahead of myself because I know that there are exams coming up and I need to film four videos. Otherwise, I'm just going to be like... Anyway, bye guys.